Some people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> Did you ever notice that? How many really stupid people you run into during the day? God damn, there's a lot of stupid bastards walking around. <laughs> Carry a little pad and pencil with you. You wind up with 30 or 40 names by the end of the day. <laughs> know how it is okay so i woke up like a uh, fucking 3 45 this morning and um like i wanted to go to the jail but i couldn't because it's dr king's holiday and um by the way i actually have a video on my channel that i want you guys to go back and look at if you can if you haven't done so um i'm gonna actually see if i can actually um put the link in the description um um it would actually help if you uh take a look at this video it's something that i did a while ago and i just want to i want you guys if you can if you can can you um just take a look at this video um, I did it about last year in the month of June, but I find that it's actually pretty, actually cool now. It, it is called um, um, Drum Major in um, Drum Major Instinct. It's one of those things where we, where people are, they they want to be lead. They want to be like they they want to just be in charge. They want to be like they want to be like the the leader of the parade they want to march in front and like some of that shit can lead to like horrible fucked up ass decisions horrible fucked up ass behaviors and horrible fucked up ass ways of people acting this is something that king actually like you get the the story of how um in this in this story you get where he's talking about how he was in the jail cell and how a lot of the the the, gar the guards were like were hate on him and be mad at him after a few days in there he started talking to one and he was saying that how um he was talking to the guard and he was like so why you don't like civil rights and the guard told him why he didn't like civil rights um and king actually flipped him on it because you know king was actually a socialist and he actually says like so um What's your problems? Well, my kid can't get to this this school and I have to deal with certain shit. And King was like, okay, what are you making? And the guy told him what he's making. And King was like, dude, you shouldn't be working for the people that are actually only paying you this, only supplying you with this. Come with us because we want to see your wages grow as well. And it was like one of those things where it's just like, it, it, it's not the March on Washington speech. It's not, I've been to the mountaintop speech. It's the practical shit. Like, we want you to do well as well. And it, it's just one of those things where it's just like, a lot of people just don't attribute it to like, people don't attribute that King was a socialist. And he spoke about actually being somebody who would stand up to that need to always be on front and march out in front just to be seen. Speaking of somebody who needs to be seen and needs to be marched out on front, let's talk about our new friend, Jimmy motherfucking door. Ah. So, this motherfucker has been making the rounds and like, I, like even people that are on the left of Jimmy like have actually started to see the shit for like I, I i literally watched his video that he interviewed that he did with professor wolf and professor wolf was just like dude like and jimmy asked him a load of questions like we don't have a leftist party in politics and professor wolf was like no jimmy we, we do and well well we need to push these people we need to force these people and professor richard wolf the marxist economist is like 
Dude, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Like, these people are pushing reforms for us. And, like, it's it, you can just see. It's like Jimmy Dore is the Alex Jones of the left. So, this is Jimmy Dore talking about Bernie Sanders ab um, ab abandons pushing Biden from the left on Medicare for All. Let's see his great nuance take. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've heard it. Like, Flip, I'm going to say this. Jimmy Dore in 2015, 2016 said that it's a good thing if Trump gets elected because he's going to make sure that, um, that no Republican is going to go with what he wants and he's going to be a, 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 a bad president and he's not going to get anything done. Yeah, this is the reason why he, like, this is right before he, like, he left TYT. And this is one of the reasons why him and Sam Cedar fell out. But let's let's hear what he has to say. So guess what? A lot of headlines today about Bernie Sanders is going to be super aggressive as budget chairman. Here's one from Politico. Aggressive Bernie Sanders on his big plans as budget chair. The Democratic Socialist is prepped to be as aggressive as he can be with the budget tactics to help Democrats and President-elect Joe Biden enact their sweeping agenda. Sounds encouraging, right? Politico. You're a staunch supporter of Medicare for All. Do you envision reconciliation being used for a massive expansion of health care? What might that look like? Like, okay, I get it. He has this format. But, like, oh, God, this whole thing about him blowing up. Like, you can literally call his fucking show the tweet fest of the motherfucker. Like, like. We saw it on another video. Like, he just blows up Twitter images on the, like, on the screen. Like, okay, switch to the shit. Like, fuck, do something, but... Fuck, you're not coming up with stories. You're not coming... Okay, I'm... Um, um, fuck, let's, let's continue. Bernie Sanders says... Well, look, I'm very strong advocate of Medicare for All. I introduced the legislation in the Senate. And let me tell you something, folks. Nothing exudes strength and power. Wait, 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 wait. Why was the cut? Why was there a cut? Now, I don't watch him live and like, God, I fucking wouldn't want to watch him live. But why was the cut there? What the fuck did you cut out, Jimmy? Like, this this honesty with this motherfucker is just fucking crazy. But let, let's let's hear him. Like starting a sentence with, well, look. <laughs> Hey, how'd your pasta sauce turn out? Well, look, <laughs> you ain't having a good dinner tonight. <laughs> like this whole taking snapshots from motherfucker. And we know why he doesn't like Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders didn't come on the show. And he's been pissed ever since for since 2016 that Bernie Sanders did, just didn't come on the show. We literally have clips of was like, well, Bernie Sanders refused to come on my show. Like for real, dog, for real. Uh, so he went on to say, I think that this, this is his answer. This is his answer. I think at the end of the day, the American people understand that our current health care system is so dysfunctional, so cruel, so wasteful, so expensive that we need to do what every other major country on earth does and get health care to all the people. That sounds good. It sounds like he's on your side, right? Yes. Hang on. What we will be doing is working within the context of what Biden wants. Wait, that was a standard non-answer. Wait, that was a standard non-answer. Literally, oh my God, oh my God. This is genuflexing the power? How? Now, if you want to be, if you want to shit on him about like non-answer, not giving a yes or no answer, then let's do that. But it's Bernie Sanders and fuck Bernie Sanders. Just doesn't give one or oh god. Have you actually seen him try to answer a question? But fuck, let, let's continue. What happened to pushing Joe Biden left? What happened to pushing Joe Biden left, Bernie? Vote for Joe Biden and then we push him left. What happened to that? We're gonna be doing what Joe Biden wants. That's what Bernie's saying. I'm gonna be doing what Joe I'm not doing anything outside of what Joe Biden sanctions. Joe Biden is my boss. 
I'm working within the context of whatever Joe Biden wants. What about what the progressives want? Doesn't matter. This is not how this story is being reported in all of progressive media, by the way. Wait, 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 fucking wait. Okay, okay. January the 14th. January the 14th. Jay. Mm. Was it not just Bernie Sanders going against the fucking party to push the relief checks that we got and was constantly pushing $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000 to where it actually got dropped down to $600. And right now he's still pushing 2K, 2K, 2K. So much so that there are like in Joe Biden's big plan. He's trying to say, well, let's give the people the other 14K. But Sanders is still pushing 2K, 2K, 2K. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, Jimmy, dog, you are fuck. Like, man, like, fuck, where's the broom at? Fuck, I don't have any straw brooms. Fuck, because he's reaching for fucking straws. His irrational hatred of people that, quote unquote, have wronged him, AOC, Bernie Sanders, but not appeared on this motherfucking show. It is fucking unbelievable. But let's continue. It's being, it's being reported the exact opposite. Hey, we need to get health care to all the people, so we're going to work in the context of the guy who doesn't want to get health care to all the people. I need that explained, Bernie. We're going to do what the guy who wrote the crime bill wants. Great plan. We're going to just push Joe left. I mean, if he wants to be pushed. We're going to push Joe left within the context of what he wants. So basically, Reagan. There's your Bernie Sanders. There's your fighter. This is being reported as if Bernie Sanders is going to fight his ass off for you. It's almost as if we have 30, 40 years of evidence of what Bernie Sanders was actually doing. But because Jimmy actually, Jimmy who wants to be the motherfucking kingmaker, Jimmy who wants you to bow down and kiss the motherfucking ring, says it. Then fuck it. It's like yeah, let's believe. Let's believe all of the history. Let's not believe all the history we have. But Jimmy's whole take on Bernie Sanders not gonna the fuck. Oh, okay. Let's let's continue. He's gonna do whatever. He's only going to do what Joe Biden tells him to do. He's not doing anything that we thought up. He's doing whatever Joe Biden thought up and his people. 87% of Democrats support Medicare for all, though Joe Biden doesn't. So I guess that 87% just need to adapt. <laughs> it's only so if Joe says so. Can this be them to the Democrats' new slogan? <laughs> By the way, Biden suggests he would veto Medicare for all over its price tag. There it is. There it is. Yeah, it's cheaper than what we do now, so how can we possibly afford it? How can we afford a healthcare system that costs less? Where are you going to get less money? <laughs> Wait, fuck. Like, how? Okay, okay, this is my problem with Jimmy Dore. He never attacks conservatives this way. Like, he doesn't. Like, and I was actually watching the video with actual Justice Warrior, and it's like, He's literally saying the same shit, or he's been used as a useful idiot for Jimmy Dore because, oh, if you're against Medicare for all, then, like, then you're evil. And it's like, haha, this is what we've been saying. Like, Jimmy, dog, shut the fuck up. No, I'm not even going to say shut the fuck up because I value your opinions. I value your fucking opinions. And just like you're using attacking other motherfuckers that have more sway and more power than you, I am using your videos to attack you. So I'm blatant about the shit. And because you don't come on my show, you're a fucking asshole. How? How does that fucking sound? But let's continue. Remember when they told us they'd push Biden left? Now Bernie admitted in an interview last night that he's no longer fighting for Medicare for all. Oh. What we'll be doing is working within the context of what Biden wants. Bernie didn't say that shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, fucking wow. When did he say that? Okay. Let's, let's continue. These politicians are not our allies. They're selling neoliberalism. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm going to bet you 100% we're the only show that reports it this way. Look at the fucking gall and audacity of this shit. Like, we're the ones telling you the truth. He literally sounds like Alex Jones. Fuck me. Like, for real, dog? For real. Everyone else is going to be touting all the shit Bernie claims he's going to be doing, and they're going to be leaving out this important piece of information that he's only going to be doing what Joe Biden wants. Because that's the crucial piece of information as far as this show is concerned. Notice, again, he says, as far as this show is concerned. I wish him good luck. I hope they get, I hope Bernie's able to get something good done. We're a failed state. We're in the middle of social unrest and there's a lot more coming and propping up Joe Biden instead of ripping him apart and pushing him left is the wrong thing to do, Bernie. You're part of the, you're part of the, well, Bernie's the establishment. Well, I mean, Jesus Christ, he's the chairman of the budget committee that he couldn't be more fucking establishment than that. He oh, wow. Fuck. Did he just really say, oh, 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 oh. Wow, wow. Okay, Jimmy Dore fans, I'm gonna I'm gonna level some shit with you. They fucking hate Bernie Sanders. They do. They fucking hate Bernie Sanders. They feel that he's the reason why Hillary didn't didn't win. I literally have people on my Twitter timeline right now that said when Bernie Sanders quotes Martin Luther King, they're like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Here's the thing, you fucking idiot. They hate Bernie because he makes them feel bad. And you, Jimmy Dore, you're not holding some politician's feet to the fire. You're not being some sort of truth speaker. You're using their ass for grift. And as long as you're using their ass for grift for them to watch your videos because you're getting people all riled and matted up. Um, yeah, turnabout is fair play, motherfucker. And I'm being truthful, like... You're a piece of shit that I really love enjoying talking about. And it gets engagement. So speaking of engagement, please like, share, and subscribe this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't say that shit with a straight face. Like, dude, like, no, like, fuck. Like, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being subscribers. But like, I don't, I just from it from in fucking outrage this doesn't sit well with me wow fuck i don't know ah oh, anyway